Melanin Matchmaker wants you to go where you're celebrated. So we've created a community just waiting to show up to appreciate you. An app where you can begin your journey to building long-lasting relationships. I mean, who doesn't love a great love story? Because we sure love creating them. Melanin Matchmaker, the dating app that celebrates you. Welcome back to Speed Daters UK and we are in the final conclusion round where we're going to be speaking to all the ladies that went on dates with our men and we're going to find out if any of them are interested in getting to know any of these men outside of this situation. So first of all, how are we feeling guys? How are you feeling? Confident? Feeling good? Did you enjoy the dates with the ladies? Yeah. And ladies, how are you feeling right now? Yeah. Ready, to, ready to give your verdict? Yeah. Okay. Um, Tina, you're right down there. Would you like to go first um, and let us know if there's anybody on the panel that you know you were interested in seeing again, maybe or dating outside of this, or anybody that you like? We'd love to hear what you think. You just said that you're good at making jokes, so I'm expecting. It's not jokes, man. Like the woman that is, you know, ultra feminine. Okay. I think we're actually nice people that like, look after women. Mm. Women. Because it's the same thing when I go to a woman, yeah. this is what they see. Is it something that I said? Have I said anything rude to you? Yeah, I thought all the guys were cool, but um, for me, I, I don't wish to speak to any of them outside of today. Okay, okay. Um, and is, would you like to elaborate? Is there any reasons why? or? Um, I just think, I didn't feel like there was like connection mm. um, because it felt more like I was interviewing them because I feel like you know when you're talking I'm not having to really I really felt like I was thinking and you know so that for me that's why I'm saying no. Okay okay fair enough fair enough. Chantel do you want to tell us what you would like to do? Uh, if it's a first date and you want to take go to some big expensive restaurant then why is 50 50 because I don't know you. <laughs> you got hit by a bus. <laughs> How did that happen? Because Have a fun, yeah? Um, it's all right. Mm. Yeah, what about you? How's it going? So far, so good. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. What? What do you hope to achieve? Yeah, so I did enjoy talking to all of the clients. It's been a really good day. Um, again, I felt like it was a lot of me asking questions and like, I just felt like I was interviewing one as well. So, I didn't really get a connection with anyone today. Okay, okay. Um, Moan, yeah. anybody that you would like to connect with out here? Um, yes, no, and reasons why? I think I had a really nice time today. The guys were really good to talk to, but I found it really difficult to talk um, to build that connection. And what do you bring to the table for, for a girl like me? What do you what bring do you to the table? What are you looking for? What do you mean? What, I, 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 I worded that wrong. What are you looking for in a man? And I'll tell you. Mine's my, my uh, super massive. My mum's from 10. How many, your, how many is your mum and dad from? Okay, not from that many, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can imagine. She's from if you was going to take whisk me off, what would you do with me? Picnic. Oh, lovely. A bit of wine. Yes, I'm feeling that. I'm there. Um, croissants. Definitely. Some speedy chocolate strawberries. Perfect. Dip them in some chocolate. Covid's just. It hasn't really changed that. It's only changed that when you come out of the house, there's no one to talk to. There's no one to see. Everyone's on this. Everyone's got like everyone's like a bit abrasive. Um, a little bit too staggered for me. I need more. I need quite a flow back. So. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it, especially having the, just the, the brief little chats, that was really good and like, especially I was saying, um, looking at them and then how they speak was better speaking to them and as, so it, it all married together really mm -hmm. nicely. Maybe if we had more time, maybe we were at a bar, different vibes, yeah. you know, it would have been better. But for me today, I, I didn't get the connection, I didn't, today. 
Okay, um, so I did speak to you guys after you came out of the dates and so I kind of knew what you was going to say. Um, but you definitely did say for, to me that there was one guy, you know, looks low as you would have been interested. But again, it was the personality or the communication that you had that kind of put a block to that. So I was saying, um, when I first met Odin, I, mm. I did, I, when I first saw him, he mm. wouldn't, he's not my natural type first of, uh, initially. Okay. But he's obviously attractive, but I'm saying like, when we were talking, we vibed more than I thought we would. Right. Um, obviously all the guys we had good chats with, especially like uh, talking about our date, me and um, uh, Chico were talking about good dates and stuff like that. So. They were good things, that's what I mean, the conversation mm -hmm. was good. So looking at someone, um, uh, when I saw Zion, I thought, okay, yeah, he looks okay. But the, co the conversation for me wasn't go, was just going a different way. So right. maybe, as I said, more time or whatever. But yeah, it, it, that's what I'm saying. It, it, it's, I think you need a different environment. It's quite difficult to do this with nothing. Yeah, it is, it is. And, um, <laughs> you know, it, it, it can be nerve wracking, yeah, I'd assume, so. Everyone's sitting around. That is be quiet for four hours and then talk for ten minutes, and it's just yeah. Yeah, so. I think um, yeah, and I understand. I mean, it's a shame because um, you know there was some good talk happening and yeah. stuff like that. Guys, how are you feeling about the feedback that you're hearing? It is what it is, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I guess it is. Did you? Would you feeling like a little bit nervous when you was communicating? Would you feeling like, or did you feel like the conversations were going well? Did you not feel like? Because all the ladies have kind of said that there wasn't enough sort of, I guess, energy, I communication. I don't know how much more energy you wanted. Like, the situation now it is, it's not going to be like a normal one-on-one mm. -on -one thing. There's bare people in there, so you're going to feel awkward, isn't it? Mm. So, mm. yeah. Apart from me, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with the way it turned out, so, yeah. Oh, you're happy that you, no one's interested in you or just... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so are you saying that you wouldn't have been interested anyway? Let's see how we go. Nah. If they would have said yes, then I would have mostly felt obligated. They wouldn't have hurt no one's feelings. Oh, obligated. And, okay. But yeah, it worked out the best still. Okay, well, I guess that's worked out well for, well for you. Um, what about the rest of you guys? Do you, how are you feeling? Are you disappointed or are you cool with it? I don't mind. It's a woman's choice. He really said it is what it is. I know, but you know, I, I've, I know the girls are picking, so I've kind of like asked them what they want to do, but you guys also have feelings like, how do you feel about it? Was there anyone you were interested in or hoping that you could form a connection with? No comment. No comment. Good experience. Good experience, exactly, exactly. So at the end of the day, it's about the experience, it's about getting to know each other, and although there was no successful date this time, we've all kind of, you know, it's been rusty. As I said, we've been on lockdown, so we ain't been out there. We ain't been talking to people face to face. But I guess it was a good experience. And hopefully you guys will find love in your own journey. Um, but yeah, I guess that concludes this episode of Speed Daters UK. Thank you for everybody for watching. Make sure you follow us on our YouTube and make sure you follow us on socials and keep up with us for more speed dating fun. And yeah, I hope that next time on the road to speed dating, we're going at 100 miles per hour rather than like being parked. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>